Hey. Yeah. Y'all split it together, Facebook together, our MySpace together, our chat wall together. We are live. Oh so, God. if I say, hello, boys and girls. Thanks for tuning in to the Threezo Show. This is season three, season two, episode, episode three. three. <laughs> I'm already thinking about next year, see? I'm always thinking about the future. All right, I'm your host Threezo. It's your host. This is our this is our first season, so everybody give her a nice round of applause. Thank you, thank you. What's your name? Sweet P. Sweet P. It's your host, first season again on on screen. Ronnie C. Ronnie C. And this is your host M C. M C. That's right, holding it down to Veteran. That's right, holding it down two years in a row. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I'm not I'm not logged into the chat wall yet, so I'm gonna get logged in. So how was your weekend? Mm. Everybody don't speak at once. I have to think. <laughs> what happened this what, weekend? What did you do this weekend? What did you do this weekend, MC? I didn't do much of anything. I was at home watching Strike Force. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. Strike Force. I saw some of the uh, the fight. I was I was telling you about that. I saw some of the fights that are coming up mm-hmm. in Strike Force. I was, I was pretty you know, crunk about that, man. So Sil- Silva and Griffin. Is that his name? Silva and Belford. And Belford. And then Griffin fight somebody else. Man. Griffin's that's UFC. Franklin. Yeah, Franklin. Mm-hmm. But that's UFC. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I was watching Strike Force. I was watching UFC, but they have to tell the Strike Force too, though. Cause silver fights in silver fights in UFC. Right. So I was watching that, but it it seemed like I was, cause they cause the strike force. Maybe I was just looking at the strike force on the lawn. That's what it was. Right. Cause we were talking about going down to the to the strike force fight. So I was just looking at the different lineups. Cause then I saw Couture's son. Mm-hmm. What's his first name? Ryan. Ryan Couture. Yeah, that's all right. So yeah, my uh, my gym in California actually had two fighters fight. Saturday night. Oh yeah, I work and were they in? Was this was in Strike Force mm-hmm. and they were in California? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they're in San Jose. This one was. Okay, good deal. People you still keep in touch with? Uh, no, not except for when I just go out there. Right, right, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> we need to we need to check on check up on them then. <laughs> how they went? All right, Ronnie C. How was your weekend? That was good. That was good. A little surprising. I think I got a. I would call it a compliment. Oh yeah, for who? Was a friend of mine going through a hard time. Grandma's kind of um, has to go to hospice, so mm. prayers out to that. Mm. But yeah, the compliment was, you make me feel safe. Oh. I'm assuming that's a compliment. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna say you make me feel safe. I'm saying bad words now. <laughs> I'm saying negative connotations. Unless, you know, you, they were y'all about to cross the street and you just let them go and the car passed by and you didn't say nothing. <laughs> and then they made that statement. Then that could be kind of sarcastic. Yeah. True. Okay. I, I don't think it was. It wasn't that situation? Yeah, I don't think it was that. Oh, that's cool. So besides that, I was kind of chill. That's cool. That's so cool. it was nice for a change, not having to get up and run around and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Just relax. Yeah, you said you relaxed so much that you kind of got uncomfortable. You over relaxed, huh? Yeah, I. I've <laughs> never heard that one before. I never laid down that. That I slept a lot. I know that. I'm mad at you. I'm jealous. But like not enough, you know? Yeah. It's like you sleep so much, but yet you want more. Yeah, yeah. I definitely could have used some more rest myself. What about you, sweet pea? How Let's see. Before? I had a bridal shower. Oh yeah, shout out to Tamika. For my BFF. Alright, shout out to Tamika. That was fun. So we, uh, Roberts. Roberts. We got all dressed up in our tea hats. So yeah. like, we raided our grandma's closets and our friend's grandma's closets to get these crazy hats. <laughs> nice. So it was kind of cool. We were at the restaurant and we were, everyone's like, oh, that's so cool. <clears throat> so we had our hats on and we had a good time. And then Sunday I went to church. But well, wait, let's talk about this hat for a second. Oh. How much? <laughs> so, so you, these hats are not something that you just have yourself. <clears throat> so you reached out to a friend. He was right. like, hey, I'm going to this event. Do you, you know, do you have any hats like this? 
And she right. said, yeah. She reached out to her grandma. Well, she was going to the event too. Right. So, right. actually, she was going to get, she was. She went down to where she's from to get the hat. So I was like, well, get me one because I don't want to buy one because right. I won't be wearing that kind of hat. Right. And she sent you some pictures of the hats. Yeah. And you picked through the pictures. And which one did you pick? I picked this one hat and it happened to be her granny's $400 hat. $400 Ooh. hat. A $400 hat. That was a bad hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this hat is not $400, it man. Was bad, it was so bad, like, she brought it. And then when I looked at it, I was like, I can't even wear that hat. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the old hats they wear. You said Kentucky Kentucky Derby style. I want, I want a floppy Kentucky Derby hat. Yeah. That's, that's uh, what yeah, I want. Yeah, those on. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they wear the hats out to the horse races. Yeah, yeah, they go out there and spend big money. Mm -hmm. I never did see the last movie that came up. Yeah. Well, my weekend was something of another, man. It was a trip because I had to go buy a car this weekend and I wasn't happy about it. I, I you know, I've been I've been driving my car for five years. The Jeep Jeep Grand Cherokee go hard and I hold it down for the Jeeps. And uh, Friday, the light came on, and, and the, it was blinking. So when, when, you, when your check engine light come on, it you know, only just sit still. You know, so it says, hey, fool, you need to check me out. All right. But when it's blinking, it's like, hey, motherfucker, you need to get your shit together. Get to the deal. You're about to break down. You're going to be stuck out. Call AAA. Checks. Make sure you're right. That's what it's really saying. It's screaming at your ass, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, damn. What the? Because I just got out the shop on Monday. <laughs> I just got out of the shop on Monday, you know, I spent a pretty penny to get it fixed, and I was trying to be responsible, trying to get it fixed, I could pass inspection, and that's the, so I got it, he, he did it, he did the, the engine coil on Monday, and he said, I can't pass your inspection because the car needs to learn that it has a new part in the engine, so I'll drive it for 100 miles and bring it back, so it's Monday. What do what you think I did? I wasn't going to take it back until Friday. Friday, I work half a day. I get off at about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to run over to the dealership. I got off about 2 o'clock instead. Went to go pick my son up from the bus stop. And before I could get to the dealership, the light came on. So before I could get it inspected and get the, to pass inspection, the light came on. I'm steaming, man. I'm like, I just fool and fix my car. What's going on? So I call him. He ain't there. I talk to somebody else. He tells me to bring it in on Saturday. I take it in. He says it's something different. Uh, it's, I'll say, all right. Is this a trusted this is mechanic? A, yeah, this or? is Jeep. This is Jeep. No, no, no. Your mechanic. It's at the Jeep dealership. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, the, the thing is, I know my truck, right? Like I said, I've been having five years. So I know what he's saying is true cause, because the code that it's sending out now is a transmission code. And before it, I had the engine cylinder, engine coil code. I had the transmission code. You know what I mean? So I already knew it was there. But you, but long story short, I, my truck still got the light on. So it's Saturday. I had to drop her off at the bridal shower, and I'm at the dealership. Like, let me just all walk around day. all day, <laughs> all day, all day. Me and my son over there, all day. I think he, he even made a video on my phone talking about how bored he was. <laughs> share that with y'all but anyway so now I'm I'm in car negotiations and it's not fun it's not fun at all yeah. so you know we'll see we we I put the video up already at the car if y'all check out YouTube I put it up today so you can check it out and then I was asking a question about you know how would you spend your money with you know what kind of car would you buy for your for your money so we'll follow up on that but that was my long weekend Sunday was good. Got to, got to yeah. see the parents. Sunday. We went to church together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. You know, the father, the whole father. <laughs> we went to church, church without walls on Sunday. So shout out to the church without walls. What is that? Describe that. It's humongous. It's pretty cool too. It's right off of. Uh, we went to the Queenston Five Twenty Nine campus, and you know, you pull in, you got people out there. You know, ushers tell people where to sit inside. We had people outside telling you where to park. So you had that many people coming. You know, we were there for the 10 o'clock service. It was kind of rainy or whatever, so we got inside. And I mean, you had at least, I would say at least 20 people guiding people. 
So if you got 20 people telling people where to sit, just imagine how many people you have trying to sit. So, you know, it's like, it was like, it seemed like it's big, like Apollo Theater at the uh, Apollo Theater. Is it Apollo? The Apollo That's Theater. Big. But it seemed that big. And the reason why it seemed that big is because people were sitting above me to my right and to my left. So I looked up, and you know how you, at the club, that's the VIP section? <laughs> uh, really, church? At, at the club? At the, at the, Come uh, on! They, they had all, look, they only had three seats. They only had like three or four seats. You know, like them private planes. You got three, two row, two seats. You probably, like first class. They were up there, man. Everybody, they had space to move around and dance and everything. And what we were sitting, we were so, we the chairs are connected. Uh-huh. So you know, you, when you've been to an event like like Verizon, Verizon Wireless Theater, the chairs are connected. So it wasn't bad, right? It, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, I was comfortable. I was comfortable. But I'm just saying the difference between the VIP seats and the, the you know the main the general congregation. So it was great though. It was the, the choir was good. Shout out to the pastor. What's the pastor's name? Uh, pastor West. Pastor West. Shout out to Pastor West. So he he got out there. No, no tie. No tie button done. No um. No collar. He What's just had a church with uh, church walls. He had a, a blazer on and a shirt underneath, and that, that's all it is. That's, that's more realistic these days. So I, I was very comfortable with it. And it was good because my son was asking questions about it after we, after the sermon. He was asking about, well, you know, I disagree with the pastor when he said this. So I was like, good. That's good he was thinking. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I, I was playing it to So that was my weekend. So yeah, we're we going to see about this car. And like I said, I already put the video up so I can check it out. It's a, uh, it's a pretty cool car, Dodge Caliber. Uh, I think they call it the Uptown model. They got like eight models of those cars or whatever. Hey, I just realized they can see my feet. <laughs> I think every other time we do the show, the camera's not that low. <laughs> and I, I never wear shoes, but I can see my oh, yeah, Hey, that's cool. Well. Enjoy those toes. <laughs> Getting back to the show. All right. All right. So, coming up next in, on the Three Zero Show, we're going to actually talk about topics tonight. We did a good yeah. job last week, too. We talked about topics last week. We did good. So, tonight, we're going to see what are the topics. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and touch base on Ocho Cinco changing back to his original surname. Mama call him Johnson. I'm going to call him Johnson. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Then What's we got that? another story. It was what three time overtime for a high school football game. Basketball. Basketball. Sorry. Favorite sport. Sorry. Correction. Okay. Basketball. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of football, I'm wearing my jersey. Why am I wearing my jersey? Because this is Super Bowl week, baby. The whole week, every day, football, nothing but stats, nothing but did you knows, and nothing but who did it. I got my yellow shirt. Okay. I'm just saying. The yellow shirt? Yeah, yellow shirt. Because you're going for Green Bay? Hey, the Steelers are black and yellow too, right? Black and yellow, black and yellow, <laughs> black and yellow. Man, that's great. So did that song have anything to do with the Steelers? No. No. Yeah. What was it about? What was that song about? Diamonds. Diamonds. Oh, the yellow diamonds. It's like every other song. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, MC know because MC so icy. <laughs> shout out to shout out to little C in Afghanistan. You know, she's so icy. <laughs> all right, cool. It's black and yellow, all about diamonds. Okay, here you go. Did you want to talk about? Sure. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I just want to show the world my ass. Uh, you know, I'm bend over in front of the camera. All right. Fellas, fellas, get your ladies, fellas, get your ladies. <laughs> All right, so what's the next time we're going to discuss? Let's see, after those two, we're going to talk about um, Mr. Reed's brother being found. Yeah. Deceased. Yeah. Okay. On that, we're going to go ahead and um, how about one of our viewers to bring, I guess, yeah. what? Awareness. Notice, awareness. Donations. Fun. That's right. That's right. All right. That's good. That's and then good we got one. a hot topic. From another viewer. Okay. About good. flirtation. Oh, being in a relationship. Sounds like a lot of work tonight. I know. Paying overtime. Seriously. <laughs> I know. What's really going on? All right. So you want to take a break right now? Uh, yeah. Well, 